Imagine you're at a concert. The music is loud, the bass is thumping, and you can feel the sound moving through the air. Now imagine standing far away from the stage. The music is still there, but it's quieter, and the deep bass doesn't shake the ground as much. That's because sound travels as a wave, moving through the air until it reaches your ears. Sound is created when something vibrates. When you pluck a guitar string, hit a drum, or even speak, those vibrations move through the air as sound waves. But sound doesn't just travel through air, it can move through solids and liquids too. If you've ever put your ear against a wall and heard voices from another room, that's because sound waves travel through the solid material of the wall. Sound moves faster through solids than through air because the particles in solids are packed closely together. That's why whales and dolphins use sound to communicate underwater. Sound waves travel even better in water than in air. But sound doesn't stay the same forever. It can be absorbed, reflected, or changed depending on what it hits. If you shout in an empty gym, your voice bounces back as an echo because the hard walls reflect sound waves. But if you try the same thing in a room with carpets and curtains, there's no echo. That's because soft materials absorb sound instead of reflecting it. That's why movie theaters use padded walls to stop echoes and make the sound clearer. Sound can also be modified. When you blow across the top of a bottle, the sound changes if the bottle is empty or filled with water. That's because the amount of air inside affects how the sound waves move. The same thing happens with musical instruments. Tightening or loosening a guitar string changes how fast it vibrates, which changes the sound. Not all sounds are the same. Loud sounds have more energy and make bigger vibrations, while soft sounds have less energy and make smaller vibrations. If you tap a drum lightly, it makes a quiet sound, but if you hit it hard, it makes a loud one. Sound can also be high-pitched or low-pitched, depending on how fast the vibrations are. Whistle has a high pitch because the sound waves are moving quickly, while a deep drum beat has a low pitch because the waves move more slowly. Sound is always moving, bouncing, and changing as it travels through different materials. Whether it's music, voices, or even the sound of waves crashing on the beach, everything you hear is made up of vibrating sound waves traveling through the air, water, or solid objects. The next time you hear an echo, feel the bass of a song, or cup your hands around your mouth to change your voice, remember, you're playing with sound waves in action. <laughs>